Jones, Jones. What, is it just you in here? Where the hell is Jones? He left for an early lunch at 11 o'clock? It's 3 p.m. for God's sake, how is he still at his club? He said it might be a late lunch. How very droll. <sighs> Did he mention the roadmap for overhauling administrative policy that your department was supposed to hand in literally yesterday? Of course he didn't. What else would I expect from the head of this damn department? <sighs> I swear to God, at the first chance I get, I'll recommend him for an archival position at some very, very cold place. And, if I'm lucky, I won't even have to think about evaluating you. It already feels like you've been here forever, but don't get too comfortable. Remember, you're just a stand-in. As you clearly have nothing better to do, you can list every government office station in a cold climate zone. Bring it to my office by the end of the day. Huh? You have the file for the roadmap right there? Why the hell did you let me rant on about it? You thought it was cute? That's no way to address a superior. <laughs> Just give me that file, idiot. Huh. This is actually pretty good. Though it clearly isn't Jones's text. Far too few spelling errors. Did you really write all of this? He contributed the title page? Typical. This is a two-person job. I'm amazed you've gotten this far with it. If we work together, we can finish this by the end of the day. Yes, I mean it. Work together. What are you so surprised for? I did work in this office before you. Yes, for real. I was the deputy secretary of this department before getting promoted. Of course, it's only gone downhill since Jones moved the filing cabinet to play mini-golf on the carpet and replaced the calendar with a dartboard, but apart from that, it's remained the same. Now, don't tell anyone, but I actually carved my initials under the table there. But enough chit-chat. Let's get to work. <sighs> Alright, and who will oversee the pension fund index? Mr. Appleby. God, him? He's almost as bad as Jones, except his speech patterns from the 19th century. He always calls me Dear Lady. I doubt he's bothered to learn anyone's name. Whatever, hand me his form and I'll stamp it. We should be about done in a moment. What? Some tea. Oh, yes, please. And a biscuit? Yes, thank you. You know, I actually want to apologize for the way I insulted you earlier. It was completely uncalled for and rather malicious of me. And I'm really sorry. My work just puts me in some very stressful situations and I can't help but take it out on people. Substitute or not, you've been a fine addition to this department. Sure, you might humor Jones and kill some time by playing games with him, but you're also ready when there's actual work to do. And after a day's work, you deserve to unwind somehow. So I don't see any harm in you, say, throwing paper airplanes out of the window with him. How do I know about that? Well, my office is on the upper floor and angled diagonally to yours. I can see straight through the window into his office, so I sometimes keep an eye on things. No, I'm not spying on you, idiot. As the civil service head of your department, it's my duty to oversee your performance. The window's right there. If I have nothing else to do, I might as well look at you. I mean, look at you working. It's literally part of my job description. I just use some creative methods, that's all. You don't actually mind it? Good. Good. You won't tell Jones, will you? He's already a pain to work with. If you wanted to, you'd have already told? So, you've noticed me watching you? Why didn't you say anything? You even pretended to be surprised, you prick. Well, all right, I guess I'm not in a position to criticize you. Hmm? What do I do when I'm actually working? Well, I'm what you would call a permanent undersecretary. I'm the chief executive for this department. I am directly responsible for it and make sure that the department fulfills its function and spends its budget accordingly. 
Because it's a position of some authority, I answer directly to the PM and the Parliament. Yeah, it's a big responsibility. That's why I'm so stressed most of the time. A significant other? No, I don't have one. Most of my colleagues pick up dates from the typist pool, but I think I want something more... serious. In any case, workplace relationships are heavily discouraged, but most all the people I know are other officials. I'm sure I'll manage somehow. Oh, you want to know what happened to your predecessor? I guess you ought to know. I sure as hell reminded you about your tenuous position. The fellow you're filling in for was always rather absent-minded. One day he managed to drive his bicycle into the River Thames. He was supposed to fly to the Scottish Highlands for some rest and relaxation, but boarded the wrong plane and ended up in Gibraltar. He kept ending up in the wrong places, and we eventually lost him. The personnel department last got word from him in Hong Kong. But you don't have to worry. He'll keep bumbling around the globe for at least a year or two. I'm positive about it. What? You received a telegraph from him this morning? He's coming back to work next week. But it's Friday. That bastard, how could he? This is intolerable. How will I... I, I mean... The department handle losing you. We can't adjust to a personnel change right now. And... And would I like to go out with you? Is that all you're thinking about right now, you idiot? Of course I would, but... But since you're leaving, there is nothing stopping us. Absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> oh, come here, will you? I take it you were on to me from the word go. Just that obvious, huh? Very well, let's finish things here and hit the town. You up for some Chinese? Man, I don't think I've ever gotten a serious tsundere commission. All the other ones have just been memes. 